Hey, what's up, guys? Warlocks will back here, and today we are playing um my current favorite wild deck, <laughs> um which is Reno Free Shaman. This is not. This is not the list I've been running. Yet I have yet to change it. This set got cut. So did this. Interesting. Okay, well those got cut for Hex. Because I think Hex is an insane card right now. And Sarah Knight. I hope they yeah, okay. Yeah, so those got cut for those. Um the reason I cut those cards, I guess I could, I'll, I'll t actually no, I'll talk about that a little bit more in the game. Um, basically, this is just the, the Reno list that I've been running. It's a very similar list to this that I hit top 75 legend with. And I don't want to say it's the best one, but it's probably the one I'm the most comfortable with. And um, yeah, there's actually a couple cards I want to talk about. Um, yeah, about about the deck, and so there's still cards in this deck that I'm not too sure about, but um, yeah. So, anyways, with that being said, let's just skip the first one and uh, let's let's get things going. All right, guys. Yeah, I'll see y'all there. All right. First matchup is against a shaman. I'm assuming it's a big shaman. Um, yeah, I'm gonna mull those. This could be i mean there's a, there's a whole list of decks that this could realistically be but i'm gonna go with this is um big shaman just because that's what it typically is which is why i kept frog it is the mirror match and i hate my life now okay well at least we have this curve which is pretty fucking nice we mauled what maelstrom portal and crawler okay so yeah we mauled good shit at least um, but yeah, okay. So cards I wanted to talk about. That's actually a really good draw in this matchup. Main cards I wanted to talk about. Um, so, okay, I, I guess I'll start talking about... I fucking loathe this game sometimes. Um, I guess I'll, I'll talk about a little bit why I decided to cut the two Murlocs. I know most lists that I see going around online, people are like, oh, I hit Legend with, you know, this deck. Um... I do know that a lot of them, um, people are playing multiple Murlocs in it. In my opinion, way too fucking many Murlocs in their decks. Um, in my opinion, for at least Murlocs, like, I don't want to say more is better, but more is better. Sorry, less is better, but less is better. Um, I want my Ice Fishings to basically guarantee me Firemancer Flurry plus Toxin. This way it guarantees me it with just one Murloc draw, no matter what, I'll have both in hand. Um, which is really good, especially it's the rogues and even against the big shamans. It's super, super clutch. Uh, but sometimes on turn like four, you just need to go coin, ice fishing, flurg, toxfin to just kill your opponent, right? It's, it's something that happens often, in my opinion. It's, it's like the general correct move most of the time. Uh, I'm just going to develop that here. I could have went serenite, but... I don't really have to worry about it. It could still be Reno. I don't think Reno lists typically one run wind chill anymore, but uh, I have a feeling it's probably Reno. With how he's playing, I can, I feel like it's still probably Reno. Um, but yeah, so I don't like the list that play uh, two and two, or, or two additional Murlocs, or even, like I saw one recently that was playing like four additional Murlocs. And to me, that was psychotic, like genuinely concerned for that person's well-being. Uh, he can't kill this. He's just spent to devolve. I'm fear to counter the next minion. This is also attacking next turn, and I could lightning storm to protect it. Um, but yeah, no, I think running too many Murlocs is really bad in this meta. So that's why I opted to, uh, run the few that I'm running here. Okay, well, Zentivo is a card that hasn't been played in the deck for a while now, but... I'm glad to see it coming back. I think Zentima is a really, really cool card, actually. It's not one of the best ones, but it's definitely a cool one. Ideally face here, I think. Because this gets a free eat there. Oh. So yeah, now my thing is guaranteed. Uh, I'm going to just slam this here. Even though I don't 
This is another player I'm not the biggest fan of, but it, it's it's okay. Also, I mean, this card is fairly decent against that deck. Also, Zephyrus right now is lethal. If I top deck Zephyrus, it's, this is 18 additional damage. So 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Ah, uh, it's actually not. It's only 23 damage. Interesting. Unless I miscounted. It's also 18, not 16. Did I do it with 16? Uh, oh. Interesting. I mean, I drew it. You have to have this, right? Yeah, I'm fine just doing that. I don't want to hero power here. I also don't want to play anything. Wait, I'm not miscounting, right? This is... 9, 18, 20... 20... I can't read this number. Sorry, 20... 25... 26... 25, 28... This is a lot of fucking... That was a pretty good board he created in one turn. No cap. I want to say this is the right play. No, this just gets frozen, right? I hate this game sometimes. I'm expecting something to get frozen. Okay. That was the worst hit, but I'm still expecting something here to get frozen, so. He's forced out second snowfall. And I beat second snowfall because of Zeph. Zeph versus a uh, beautiful card. Is this still lethal? If he doesn't play a taunt, or he doesn't roll a taunt, is this lethal? 15. If he's playing Murlocs, this is. I'm in a really good position. Unless he already drew it. He is playing Rena, okay. So 15, um, 30 damage off lethal. Fuck. I'm gonna go with this here. Not the worst play. Like hit, hit, or hit, hit, this. Prevents him really from playing anything, which is pretty nice. Yeah, I'm fine with that. What was my last battle cry with Snowfall Guardian? I don't know, it wasn't so. What the fuck was my last battle cry? Is it this? I think it was. No, it wasn't this. I played this after this. So it might be this. Not exactly sure off the top of my head. Man is. Jet. Was that. He drew that last turn and he didn't go for it? Interesting. That's psychotic. <laughs> Grumbles are actually an insane draw here. I actually have a lock on the board. If he floods the board, I win the game. If he ever floods the board, I win the game. Let me let me correct that statement. Uh, I think I'm gonna go to this deal six. Is it better to kill off minions here? This is slightly better. This is the only one that I actually care about killing. It's another six. Down to 12. I can't. Zephyr sadly would not see the Makah in my hand or the Grumble in my hand to find me lethal, which kind of sucks, but what can you do? Um, it'd probably offer here Flame Strike. Like, if I would have played it here, it would give me Flame Strike. To kill this. Or would it give me. There's actually a couple cards that could have given me. I'm terrified here of Mutinous. Like, actually genuinely terrified. Very few cards in this game, in this position, would terrify me, but Mutinous is one of them. Mutinous makes it hard to do anything to the board. Right, if I commit one too many things to the board, he just slams Mutinous, I lose the game. Well, I don't lose, but I lose something good in my hand, right? Like, every single minion here, besides maybe the Toxman, I can see being necessary to win this game. Okay. 
It's not the end of the world. I like the fact I predicted correctly. This prevents... Ugh, doesn't prevent Zola. What card... Zephyrus doesn't do enough here. Zephyrus would give me... He can't give me the card I want, which is... Uh, twisting. This prevents the Grumble play. If I could prevent the grumble, I should be chilling. Because he drew a. Sp what is this card that he created off of this? Oh, it's um, windchill. Okay, so yeah, the only card I can actually get fucked here a little bit by is Zola. Zola is eight mana, very importantly. Um, the reason why that's important, by the way, is Zola being at 8 means uh, if he just as much as play something that costs 3, which I mean, very few things in that deck cost 3 that he would want to play. Like, if I'm, if I'm comparing it to my version, the only minion that costs 3 that he would want to play is Macaw. Or, like, you don't even want to jam Storm here. Um... Yeah, basically there's like nothing he could realistically play. Killing this is the right choice here every single time. If you're not expecting Zephyrus, but at this point he should have seen enough cards to expect Zephyrus. Okay, I think I win the game here. If he plays, if he played one more minion, I would be way more confident because then I just lock him out of the game. His health does not matter anymore. I drew that now that it's useless. I'm just gonna do this into twisting. There's no point trying to get fancy with it. He's Highlander, he's played his Snowfall, he's played Shutterwalk. Um, he's running Plate Breaker, which is really old tech. He has yet to play Brukan. He has yet to play Mute. I need to play the Grumble before he has a chance to play Mutinous. So next turn, there's fairly high odds. I'm just grumbling nothing. Don't hit my grumble. I loathe this game. I fucking hate this game so fucking much. Oh. <sighs> How do I get so unlucky? If he would have eaten this, I could have won the game. If he would have eaten this, I could have... This was the best eat in my hand. I low rolled the 33% chance, and now I can't kill this, and I might just die to it. That's a terrifying thought. Okay, he's eating nothing now, at least. Best draw in my deck, I guess, is Shutterwalk. Yeah, I guess it'd have to be Shutter. Would I slam Shutterwalk here? Yes. I'm dead to Zephyrus. I'm dead here. Z oh, no, Zephyrus is no longer lethal. Okay, thank God. I thought I just, like, instinct died to Zephyrus here. I won that- winning this 50-50 won me the game. Potentially. I mean, I still have to draw this, I still have to draw this, and this. That hit is so fucking good for me. Oh, by the way, I hope you, I hope you guys also have a beverage. I'm currently drinking me a nice, nice cold beer. Ah, yeah. I, I mean, that's pretty good for him. That's pretty good for him. To be fair, no matter what I draw, I'm slamming. I don't care about this card at all, basically. 
the more I get of these, the happier I am, the more I get, again, right now in my deck cards, I want to see ice fishing is really good. Reno's insane. Mutinous insane. Shadow walks insane. Zola's insane. So there's five cards in my deck that I'd like to see. One of them is a redraw on the Viper. Um, Rat, I guess is okay, but it's not ideal. Vendor, Maelstrom, Lightning Bloom are by far the worst cards to draw here. Oh, he's also running the Hex. Hex is a card I've seen like no one run, and it's the single choice I don't understand. Like, I don't understand why nobody runs that card. It's so good in the current meta. It's fucking bonkers. Okay, well, this kind of sucks, but I have to slam this here. Interesting, it's a flame strike. That's not what I was expecting, if I'm being honest. Interesting. I regret attacking with my shit now. That's for damn sure. Because if these didn't attack, I could have attacked there, and then I could play Zola if I top decked one. This counters spell. It does not. Fuck me. Whatever spell this is, I'm terrified. He only has three cards left in his deck as well, which is really good for me. Um, This counters next spell. Okay. I can just slam this here, I guess. Let's go with this first. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Oh, my hero power now puts him down to one. He can't... First spell he plays gets countered. And I guess he's probably just jamming mutinous as he doesn't know what I have in hand. This list is so interesting. I kind of want to see all the other cards he's played or he's playing in his deck. Like, I would love him to just dump his hand here. This list is super interesting. Found room for the plate breaker. Found room for barista. Found room for the healing rain. Like, I assume he cut bloom. Unless that's bloom. Now, that'd have to be lightning storm. My guess is that's lightning storm. Lightning storm, I mean, to be fair, it's pretty solid here. Um, He also knows that whatever spell he plays gets countered. I assume he has grumble, so I assume the elemental he drew is grumble. Yeah. That's grumble. Oh no, it's Zeph. I forgot Zeph was a card. That's Frost Nova. This has to be Frost. Yep. Ideal draw here, Ice Fishing or Lightning Bloom, actually. Rod is not ideal, but I mean, I'll take it. That one's okay. This just means that his he has a mutinous in hand. He says Zephyr, he says grumble in hand. He can do grumble Zephyrus shenanigans. No, he's played Zola, so he can't get an extra grumble. He hasn't played Macaw. So he could technically freeze me out of the game for two turns. Until this offers him healing and nothing else. I guess he's at one. I think it defaults only offers healing if he's at one. Then he'll either die to fatigue or he'll die to this. But yeah. He also has to be worried if he ever leaves up a spot open. I mean, there's no minions in my deck that kill him per se, but I guess he just has, it has to be something he has to worry about. I sadly lost my Macaw. Did I lost my Macaw? Yeah, I lost my Macaw this game. I got pulled by his rat. His list is so interesting. I know I said that a lot, but man. Also, sorry, but my brain is like Omega fried today. Uh, I spent the entire day doing interviews or for for an internship and i spent the entire the rest of the day doing homework and my brain is just completely fucking dead right now it's frost nova no choice interesting order he played those in there why can't this deal damage my own minions to be fair it'd be risky as fuck to play it here anyways um, I just need to hope he doesn't have healing. Uh, he gets heal off of it, basically almost guaranteed, because it's random. 
I don't think he can deal with my board, because he has to play the healing or else he dies to fatigue. He's played Reno. Hmm. He's in a really bad spot. Uh, and I'm in a really good spot, so yeah. But yeah, no. Man, also I have to say, fuck stats. I just legitimately spent since 9 p.m. today doing math for my stats class, and it was completely awful. Also, you had no choice but to play them in that order, I just realized. Okay. You leave my board up. And you allow me to get another shutter walk. You're a great person. I like this guy just as a person. He allows me to get another shutter walk. Uh, that, was a, that was a really good game. Really, really good game, actually. Man, I love playing this deck. Hey, back sub four. No, yeah, playing this deck is actually super interesting, and in my opinion, it's fairly complex. You'll you'll get people that get mad at you for playing this deck if you play it, but in my opinion, that's perfectly fine because of how fine it is and how funny it is. Like, actually, I've I, I think I've told the story before, but I'll tell it again because I find it's a hilarious story. But yeah, uh, let's queue up uh, one more game because I believe that's all we have time for. I hope this is recording. And uh, yeah, let's let's queue it up. I'll see you guys all there. Okay, I'm assuming that this is also Big Shaman. Is there a Big Shaman, or we need to prove that we are the best Shutter Walk player in the world? Uh, I actually like keeping this against Shaman, Big Shaman. It's really good if they like put some of those obnoxious cards down on his guy. Like say if he gets like a big mini or whatever, it's pretty solid. Oh, yep. Go figure, he's on Big Shaman. Alright, this matchup... This matchup is actually a coin flip, in my opinion. Like, depending how good his draw is, this matchup is straight up a coin flip. Like, from this position, right? If I top deck for turn... If he doesn't, like, pull shit out of my hand, and I top deck for turn Primal Dungeoneer, I win the game. Okay, never mind, I lose the game. <laughs> oh, that was fast. I guess it depends what this hits. Yeah, Colossus is one of those interesting ones. It's like, I don't really want you to hit it, but I guess. Oh, though, we hit the nuts. This draws max four cards. Okay, we actually hit the good one, too. And then we hit the... Oh, my God. That was actually, like, arguably perfect RNG. This is forced to hit here. If not, he risks actually just losing to this one card. But I, I feel safe in this scenario. Um, uh, I can go Serenite or I can go Freezing. Freezing's interesting. Serenite's also fairly interesting. I'd rather develop this here. It's a card that's just taken up room in my hand. Um, yeah, I guess that, that I don't remember if I said it in the previous game. Again, brain fried, but um, Wildpaw Cavern is one of the cards on the short list of shit I want to cut from this deck. Card's good, but in my opinion, it's bad. It's 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 very very situational, and I don't like how situational the card is personally. Um, let's just do this. Let's do that will prevent that from attacking for a turn. If I can kill both of these into like this getting. Fireman's or Flirt Toxvin, like I'm in a stupid good position. Even to be fair, potentially getting mutes in this year is not the worst. It's not ideal, but it could be worse by far. Anything besides that person Shutterwalk? Not ideal, but I'll take it. Murloc top deck. Murloc top deck. Any Murloc from my deck is a, the best top deck in my deck right now. And it's not even close. Any Murloc. Okay, that's actually not that bad either. This delays a turn. Okay. for oh 
Oh no, he has a Mare Noggin Fogger. I'm just leaving that at that. This card is... Building. Come on, man. Out of all the nine drops in the game, I had to hit this. And right now, I'm hoping for any... Actually, would I take... I'd even take Grumble in this position, actually. I think Grumble also says I win the game, but... Eh. This is the only valid target, right? So it can't actually change it. Thank God. Thank God he can't actually change the to an invalid target. To be fair, if it could change to an invalid target, the card would be one of the best legendaries, if not the best legendary in the game. Whatever he plays, it dies to mutinous. He should be able to both play a kill spell and do whatever. Of course, that's the one he hits. Why is this so fucking big? I just copy the one in his hand. Who did? So that triggers him killing that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not quite lethal, but it's good enough. Again, this matchup is a fucking coin flip. I don't think there's any one card in his deck that kills me here, and if not, Shadowwalk kills him next turn. Shadowwalk kills him, so it just gives me Soulfire, which actually kills him. It's not even me just saying, oh yeah, he's dead. No, Shadowwalk quite literally says, by the way, you're fucking dead, mate. The other second Colossus. It actually does. Lol. This should just say, I mean, this was also lethal, but... This is way more funny. And I tossed the- who needs the fucking Reno, man? Reno's trash card when it could just soul fire my opponent's face. Ah, uh, Shadowhawk. I love being a Shadowhawk gamer. It makes me feel happy. It makes me feel happy to shit on these big shamans. Like, that was even a good draw from him. It was a turn 3 Muck Morpher, turn 4 Ancestral Call, turn 5 Muck Morpher some combination of sequencing like that but he got he got digged down by big old bad shutterwalk um but yeah no in general man trust i know most places that cover wild like at least like i think if i go to tempo storm free shaman's like tier three that's some bullshit free shaman is s tier it's tier one and it's not just because it's my favorite wild deck right now that has nothing to do with it. Nothing against Tempo Storm either. They're, they're my favorite Ori that takes care of Hearthstone, in my opinion. They're the, they're the best one. But yeah. Sorry, but there's no fucking way that this deck could be anywhere close to this fucking low. Put this shit. It's okay, it's not. It, it, in my opinion, it's it should be here. It's like a coin flip, actually, against most of these decks. Even Warlock, it's coin flip. This is favored, favored, coin flip, coin flip, favored, coin flip, coin flip. Before I thought this was a terrible matchup with my current version, this is like coin flip, coin flip, coin flip, favored, coin flip, like favored, coin flip, coin flip. Like what does it, hold up. I'm actually curious. It's been a while since I've actually looked at the list they have. And if it's not Reno, it's wrong. I was against Reno in first place. Okay, it's wrong. <laughs> I was against Reno in the first place, but the more I play with Reno, the, the more I'm realizing it's actually just fucking nuts. They do have the correct, um... There's no fucking mutinous in their list. That's wrong. Mutinous is insane. Um... If I go... 
Where's the stats? There's no stats? There's no stats. I thought there were stats about its matchups, but hey. Um, yeah, no, I, I personally wholeheartedly disagree with that card being there. I think the card, the, the deck is tier two. High tier two at the lowest, if you go Reno. But yeah, this deck is nuts. I love this deck. It's so much fun. It's so much fun. And as you see, you don't technically need to even kill them with the Shadow War combo. You just kill them with like value and beat down. It's so good. This is like everything I want to do in general when I'm playing Hearthstone. But yeah, enough gushing about how sick this deck is and how we are the King of Shaman, but yeah. Anyways, with all that being said, I'm exhausted. I need to edit this and go to bed because I have to be up in four and a half hours to go to my exam. So yeah, that's fun. But um, yeah, anyways, with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, don't forget to like and subscribe as always. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.